Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views, and uh, I want to get into something today which I don't think it's talked about enough. <clears throat> and I, I firmly believe that this is one of the ways that the divide and conquer part of our country is succeeding wonderfully. <clears throat> Those of us who know what's going on and are able to warn people, we're not doing such a good job. And uh, yeah. I'm going to show you exactly how that is the case. Um, in music videos, of course, for years, we know about the whole Illuminati threat. From Left Eye Lopez onward. Now, some people would say that this has been being has been something delivered to the country ever since uh, the invention of jazz. Swing bands, you know, songs like Satan Takes a Holiday, um, Back to the Blues Acts, you know, Soul Their Soul of the Devil at the Crossroads, whatever, whatever. It's important that we put ourselves at least to where we are now. It's important to understand how we got here, but it's important to understand where we are now if we're going to combat it. And pointing fingers at each other isn't going to do any good. The reason I mention this is uh, I was thinking the other day about the difference between fiction and reality. About how so many people consider heavy metal to be an evil music. And yet the guitar player Zach Wilde every Sunday, the guitar player for Ozzy Osbourne, he proudly posts some of the most pro-Christian messages that you will ever find on Facebook. And I'm sure he does it on his other social media channels. And then you've got these, I mean, it's confirmed. Some things are confirmed about the occult and how it is tied into those who are, quote unquote, our overlords, the ones pulling the strings, the ones that we elect and who are supposed to be working for us. It's not a conspiracy theory that Hillary Clinton was talking about spirit cooking. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's been proven. There's an email trail to prove it. It's also not a conspiracy theory in any way to say that at the, uh, not the Bilderberg, Bohemian Grove, they do an occultic ritual called the Cremation of Care, where they sacrifice their cares of the world at an altar and burn the effigy of a human being. Some people could say that that's just entertainment. Okay, maybe it is. Zach Wilde plays guitar lines about Mr. Crowley, but he certainly isn't uh, worshipping the, the beast. Crowley, however you want to say it, he's not worshipping the beast. It's, it's a story about someone. But here's what I want to get at. Here's where the problem comes in. We know, we, are, we absolutely know that there are occultic ties with the people who are running the country, running the entertainment industry, running the UN, and by extension, the world. Why do the greatest scientific minds in the whole world have Shiva as their work of art in front of the Hydron Super Collider? Shiva is the god of death, destruction, hell. It's not a Christian god. I should say a, a demon. It's Hindu. Here's my point. And if you don't get anything else from this video, please understand this. You can say, well, that doesn't affect me any. I'm not Hindu. Christians can say that Whatever religion Hillary Clinton may or may not be involved in doesn't affect me any. I'm 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 not I'm not a I'm a Christian or I'm not a Christian or I don't believe in the devil. 
That is to miss the whole point, and that is exactly what they want you to do. It's part of the whole reason for divide and conquer politics. Now, hear me out. Do not click off. Leave, leave a comment and let me know what you think about this, or get a hold of me at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. If I said to you that I believed in the God that gives free TV dinners, everybody gets a free TV dinner. That I believe that that's what God does. And there is another person running against me who believes in the God of the punch in the face. And he believes that every man, woman, and child should get a punch in the face. And you can look at those religions and say, well, I don't believe in either one of them, so why do I care what they believe in? This is why. If our leaders to use the analogy, are voting for, or are believing in the punch-in-the-face God, then they're going to lead the country. They're going to make decisions, laws, rules, regulations, statutes, mandates, all of that, with the foundation being that they believe everyone deserves punched in the face. Now, let's leave the silly analogy behind, and let's look at what, what's really going on here. We are electing people to office who are ha, who has the the dark arts, the dark side of the occult. It's the worship, worshiping or acknowledging demonic deities like Shiva. If they are promoting Satanism, which we saw is even in recently in, in tennis shoes that had blood in them. If that's what the entertainment crowd and the political crowd and all of them who are lording power over us, if that is what they believe, then that is the basis to which they will make decisions which affect your life. Now, if we elect people who have a moral grounding, not just who claim one, like Nancy Pelosi, but doesn't show it. Bernie Sanders would be another one. But those who genuinely have some kind of moral compass, those who are genuine Christians, and I'm well aware that there is a vast difference, then they're going to lead with their foundation being that you help and forgive your fellow man. They're going to be leading in passing rules, regulations, statutes, mandates, and other of their devices to pull strings. They're at least more likely, anyway, to lead from that as their foundation. So, closing, let me remind you, it doesn't matter what religion you are, it matters what religion they are. And I just explained to you why. That's why it's called The Correct Views. Good night, friends. God bless. Hit share and hit subscribe. Feel free to get a hold of me. Let me know what you think at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Uh -huh.